Okay guys, so welcome back to Amanda's Queen Cuisine. Um, today we're making chicken flautas. Um, to start off, we're going to boil our chicken breast. And we have two huge chicken breasts here. Um, one chicken breast makes, give or take, 12 tacos. So we have two ginormous ones. So we'll see how many we get out of that. Um, so we're gonna start by boiling them and we're going to boil the chicken breast with salt and onions just to give it a little bit of flavor. And once they're boiled, then we're going to shred it up and then we roll the tacos. So it's kind of a long process, but I have many little hands to help. So um, we're gonna start by boiling. What are you eating? A grape? Okay, so we're gonna start by boiling and adding salt and onions to our water. And once the chicken comes to a boil, then we are going to shred it and season it again. One last time before we put it inside of our sambals. I gave you a grape. I gave you a grape. I gave you a grape. Okay, onions are just going to be used to give our chicken flavor. Um, they don't have to be cut any specific way. And you want to use the whole onion so that you can get as much goodness as you can from it. Okay, so we're just going to peel it up like this. With as much chicken as we have, I think I want to do two or three onions. I might even add a little sofrito. Because what is dinner without Mama, sofrito? To go today. We're going to add our salt. So I'm going to add the rest of the onions, we added the salt, let me get some frito. Okay, so we are going to make guacamole. Um, we have our avocados, lime juice, garlic, onions, cilantro, tomatoes. Um, when you purchase avocados to make uh, guacamole, <laughs> you, <laughs> you wanna purchase um, avocados that are nice and soft so that it's easy to mash them up together. Um, I think I put too many in here, so I'm gonna take some out and smash them slowly. Um, and they say that if you keep the seed in, that it gives, or it holds the life a little longer. I don't know how true that is, um, so we're just going to mash up the avocado, avocados. See, the softer the avocado is, the easier it is to mash. Um, when you purchase the avocados, the, the brown looking avocados are the ones that play tricks on you. Uh, you, you don't want to get them because they're too brown, but those are obviously the best because they're the softest when you're gonna make avocado guacamole for it, that is okay. um, so get the hint so we're 
we're gonna mask all of our avocados to look like this. So I'm gonna put the pads on a quick pass forward so I can mask all the avocado. Okay, so now that our guacamole is nicely mashed, we're going to add our garlic. I'm gonna add some onions. We're gonna add some cilantro. We're gonna mix this all together. Um, if you don't like any of these ingredients, you can always mix and match. Take out what you don't like. The most important ingredient is obviously our avocados. Um, today when I was at Walmart, I encountered an older couple, lime juice, an older couple looking in the spice section like where they have the bags of taco seasoning or chili seasoning and they were looking for avocado a seasoning, guacamole seasoning, I'm sorry. And I was like standing listening like, guacamole seasoning? You know guacamole seasoning? Just put some salt, some lime, some tomato, some cilantro, and there you go. But I don't know if they were successful because I left. Okay, anyways, so now we're going to add our tomatoes. And again, we're not going to add all of our tomatoes, just some. Just going to fold it in. Okay. And last but not least, we're going to add some salt. Fold it in again. It looks delicious. Okay, so there you have it. Some fresh guacamole. Enjoy. Now that the chicken has been boiling for a while and it's nice and tender, it smells delicious, wow. we are going to take it out I like it. I like and you can hide, you can um, okay, scratch all that. Now that the chicken has been boiling for a while, the chicken is nice and tender and not pink. Um, so you can pan shred your chicken or you can use a ninja or a blender. So I'm going to take it. It's hot, so I'm going to pull it apart with the tongue. of the chicken and then I'm going to get my helpers my little minions. I have a helper. 
Yeah, I'm gonna get my minions so that we can start to. My minion too. Yeah, so we can start to roll up our tacos because it is already five o'clock, so we'll eat dinner soon. Okay. Ow. So I'm going to do that really quick. I'm going to do that really quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that our chicken is shredded, we're gonna put it in a pot, a pan, um, with some oil on the bottom. And we're going to add some sofrito. We're going to add some cilantro. Again, as I told you guys before, I'm a fan of the leaves. Not so much the stem. So I'm gonna take those guys out. And the chicken is fully cooked already. So the point of this is just to um, stir, fry it, and just, just to give it some color, to give it some more um, seasoning. We're gonna add some sasson to give it a little pinky color. Okay. Then we're going to mix it up. Smells delicious already. enough color and we are to the color that we desire we're going to take it off and let it rest for a few minutes and in those few minutes that we're letting the chicken in those few minutes that we're letting the chicken rest we are going to warm up our tortillas because our tortillas need to be warm before we start to roll them So I heated up my corn tortillas for a little bit longer so they won't break. And I made one to test it out. We're gonna get a little bit of chicken, put it in. Now let's get a little bit more. And we're gonna roll it up. One, two. And the point of the toothpick is just to keep it together until it's finished frying. So that's how it's gonna look until it's fried, so we are going to make them. Um, we're going to roll them on out, and then I will show you guys how they look before I put them in the fryer. Okay. 
Okay, so now that our tacos are rolled and we have our toothpicks, our oil has been heating up. It's nice and warm. We're going to place a couple. them too long because then they get too hard and they just won't taste as good. Um, a minute or two in the oil is good. This is my first time making them alone without my Titi Elizabeth Orvero. So learning curve, buy good tortillas. Um, they definitely need to be rolled as tight as you can roll them so your chicken doesn't come out. But buy good tortillas is the only thing I'm taking from this whole experience. Um, so when you don't buy good tortillas, you get a big mess. Oh look, all my chicken is coming out. Once they're fried is when you can take the toothpicks out. They're starting to get a little brown, so I'm gonna take them out. Here's our flat, one of our flautas. Cute, to that. Another one. This one got all the chicken hanging out. So I'm gonna fry a couple more and I'm gonna take the toothpicks out and set it up for you guys as a display. Um, I'm not an expert at everything, but I do try my best and this is definitely a delicious dinner that I'm going to have to remake a couple times before I introduce it to you guys again. Um, but I will let you guys know how it tastes. It smells delicious, even though our chicken came out. So I'll let you know what everyone thinks. Thank you guys for watching. And we will be back on Saturday. Oh, I got two thumbs up from Vic. What do you give me? Um, so, were these my pick? Two thumbs up. Take a big bite for everybody. Let me see. Oh, yes. How's that guacamole? Delicious? Mm-hmm.